I'm Matt Grace, a member of the Spider Men's basketball team. Um, I love to in, uh, read because I enjoy learning new things, um, and today I'll be reading The Hidden Rainbow. So, one little bee peeks out to see a world of gray and snow. She's looking for bright colors, and she needs you to help them grow. First, please brush the snow off the budding camellia trees. Look, the flowers are red, and their nectar feeds two bees. Tickle the very tops of the growing tulip leaves. Very soon, the bees will find orange. And can you see three bees? Next, point to the crocus shoots, just beginning to sprout. Four bees are eating pollen. Now that yellow has come out, now it's time to search for a special four-leaf clover. What luck, a field of green, which five bees zoom in over. Please wave the bees back to their hive. Clouds are gathering for a shower. The bees don't like the rain, but it's important for the flowers. Blow the forget-me-not buds dry as the rain clears from the sky. The sun is shining, blue is blooming, and six bees are buzzing by. Next, trace a line down a trace this line straight down the orderly hyacinth row. Hyacinth row. Seven bees are foraging in blooms of indigo. You're practically done. Now blow a kiss to the lovely lilac trees. Now violet now violet blossoms are brimming with nectar for eight bees. At last, get ready to find nine bees on the rainbow you grow. But the story is not over. These bees have work to do. Can you see ten humming bees getting busy in these trees? They're spreading so much pollen. You might just have to achoo. And why are the bees spreading pollen so something you eat can grow? Thanks to the bees, soon you'll have your own delicious rainbow. The end.